In Creo Parametric 9.0, you now have the ability to predefine the parameters that appear in custom symbols. Then when you create an instance of that symbol in your model or your drawing, it will be populated with those different parameters. Here I have an assembly model open. Let's go to the annotate tab. Now if I go to the annotations overflow menu, here is the define symbol command. I will click on it. That opens up the menu manager. From here, I will redefine one of my existing symbols. Let's choose retrieve from the get symbol menu. Here are the different symbols that I have in my symbol directory. Let's change my NFPA symbol. I'll choose the open button. And now I'm in the symbol editing environment. Let's go to the attributes command. And in the symbol definition attributes dialog box, I can click on the tab for grouping and variable text parameters. And so here we can define some parameter names for the different groupings. Here we have the variable text. I'm going to define the parameter names for those. Let me click in the cell for flame. I'm going to call this my flammability hazard. And right now this is of the type string. I'm going to change that to an integer. And then for the health, let's type in the name of the parameter I want, health hazard. Integer, that's good. And then I have one that I'll call my stability hazard. And the final one is for special hazards. And that one should remain a string. So let's type in the name. That's good for all the different parameters that I want in here. Let's click the OK button. And then I will click Done. And now I'm back in assembly mode from the menu manager. Let's write out those changes to disk. And let's do it by name. Here is the one that I was just editing. And I will save it in my symbols directory. All right, now that we have redefined the symbol, let's instance it in my model. I will start by changing my annotation plane to flat to screen for this particular symbol. Now I can click on the symbol command. In the ribbon, I can go to the gallery. And here is one of my pinned symbols, the one that I just edited. Let me click on it and just drop it on the screen. Now I'm going to make the height big enough to see. I can adjust that from the dashboard. That looks good. And let's see if I click on it. Let's grab it and I can reposition it exactly where I want it to appear. If I click on the symbol customization command, that will open up the panel that allows me to edit the different values. So for flammability, let's give that a four. For the health, let's give this a one. And for stability, let's give that a two. And for special hazards, I will choose W. So that's good for the setup of my symbol. I'm not going to choose any of the optional groupings. And now let's left click in order to finish editing the symbol. If you go to the annotations overflow menu, there's now a new command for symbol definition parameter information. And so when I click on that, I'm prompted to select a symbol. There we go. And now you can see in this dialog box, we have our different variable text. Here is the parameter name that is associated with, with each of the variable text and the different type. Let me close out of here and once again click on the symbol. And if I right mouse click and hold from the pop-up menu, I can choose parameters. And here I can see all the different parameters that are associated with this symbol and its type and the different values that are associated with it. And so in that way, you're able to predefine what parameters should be generated in a symbol and then view their different values.